complaining does nothing. Make music. Make make some great music, and and that's the end of it. Like we t- we've been taught every I've been taught everything but emotional intelligence. It doesn't matter who you are. Everyone has to be respectful, and everyone has to be you know a human being. Seeing things from other people's perspective and what other people are going through, you know, helps me a lot. You know, it helps me a lot. Uh, somebody told me the other day, no, no, no matter where you are, there you are. Art support. I think when you make music, you want people to hear it and hear different things, and then you want it to start a dialogue mm-hmm. because that's how we get to understand it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, you felt that way about it. This is actually what I meant because this happened and these things happened that led to me saying this specific thing. They, they, want, they want to hear the struggle, the story. They want to hear something that they can relate to because, especially back then, the audience for hip hop was young, young black dudes. You know what I'm saying? That that was it. That was that was the audience for hip hop, and they want to hear something that they could relate to. They could go home and they in the mirror and they singing it and it's close to their story. Mm-hmm. So that was was. But hip was hip hop. That's what hip hop was built on, you know. That right there. You gotta have a story, and and even within, I I still, you know, have a struggle right now. That's that's my struggle, you know. what I'm saying maintaining my identity and the person and the respect, you know, that I've that I've always had. It, it, it has it has to be that way. We have to figure out. I mean, it's up to the individual how, to figure out how to slow it down because you know it's just going faster and faster. Everything is moving, you right. know, quicker. You know, information is going quicker. Uh, you know, it's again, like you said, it, you know, these these great things are fleeting. They're going faster and faster, and, and, and it's up to the individual to slow it down and be like, okay, I'm living with this album. Right, that's yeah. that's an individual thing. I'm not gonna let anybody speed up my process. I don't care what's happening out there. That's 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 the great thing about you know, having ultimate confidence in yourself is it doesn't matter what's happening. I don't care what's happening. I don't care what you're on or this person's on. This is what I like. You know, I can walk that line between, you know, uh, uh, putting out great art and, you know, getting paid for my art. I'm not, I'm not one of those, excuse my language, I ain't one of those that they could talk to and be like, you're, you're an artist, you shouldn't have money. You know, it's the music business. If, if that's the case, you should, any artist, any artist, not Kanye West, any artist, if, you know, they should just record in their basement and never enter the music business. You know, I just happen to be really good at the music business. Mm. They have that thing that, you know, that, 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 that belief that they go, you can only do one thing. You know, we 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 don't we don't have that. We don't we're not inflicted with that disease. Mm-hmm. You know, I I can walk and chew gum. Complaining does nothing. Make music, make make some great music, and and that's the end of it. Mm-hmm. Like you got to be out. You got to be able to compete. Still mm-hmm. sharp and still. You got to get out there and you got to earn your spot. It's not given. It's such a a, a spoil you brat loses mentality. Mm-hmm. That's it's 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 annoying. You know, sometimes people's success, you know, make people feel instead of saying, wow, that person's successful and uh, I'm, I'm inspired. Well, some people are. Some people are like that person's successful. I'm a, I'm a striving to be exactly where they are. And some people are just like they got the reverse attitude, like their success means my failure. So I hate that success. So I have to I have to make some kind of explanation of why they're here and why they shouldn't be here and why they wouldn't be here if this person was here. It doesn't matter who you are. Everyone has to be respectful and everyone has to be, you know, a human being. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because, you know, when you're not in control of the outcome, people going to believe what they want to believe anyway. So, I mean, why waste my time? I'm inspired by the uh, my previous work. Mm-hmm. So that's, I have to I have to measure myself against that. The most beautiful things are not these objects. The most beautiful things are inside. The most beautiful things are the l- friendships I have. I have really like golden friendships that, that you know most people don't have. You can have all the watches and paintings in the world. You don't have a friend like friends like I have. Mm-hmm. The friendships I've acquired and the compassion and the person I've become like that's. That's what this chapter is, mm-hmm. you know, and the, yeah. the conversations with my mom. Those yeah. are the real yeah. enriching experiences. You mm-hmm. know, the Holy Grail, meaning like you chase this thing and these bright lights and these cameras and then you look back, you want everything and then you end up with nothing. Mm-hmm. So at some point you have to stop yourself. 
fame. You know, mm-hmm. it ain't, it's not really about anything. So I start the rationalizing, and, and it says uh, uh, people dying back where I was from. Like, putting it in real perspective, right. like, I don't care about this. I mean, if people got real-life problems where I live, mm-hmm. where, you know, where I grew up, people are dying and getting shot daily. Seeing things from other people's perspective and what other people are going through, you know, helps me a lot. You know, it helps me a lot. In records, they might... You know, they think you, you, you're complacent, yeah, you're happy, you're much more laid back, but I'm still, I'm still the same person. Uh, somebody told me the other day, no, no, no matter where you are, there you are. You're still that person. Like, you put these things on me, you put me in a car, you put a couple of chains on me, and you put me in the, in the uh, room with Mariah, I'm, I'm still the same person. I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in, I'm not in there conforming or being, being different. I'm there. I'm still, I'm still Jay-Z. And if you put a person who wasn't, I hope y'all gonna understand me and I'm not just babbling. <laughs> if you put a person who wasn't that dude and you put him there and you just dress him up, it's gonna show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, it's, you know, it's, it's solid. There's no cracks. It's, I'm not falling apart. That's really not the goal. The goal is not to be successful and famous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not the goal. The goal is, if you have a specific God-given ability, is to live your life out through that. But I think the most important thing I got is that everything is connected. Mm-hmm. Every emotion is connected and it comes from, a, from somewhere. And just being aware of it, being aware of it in everyday life mm-hmm. puts you at a, such a, you at such an advantage. You know, mm-hmm. you realize that you know, if someone's racist toward you, it's not even about you. It ain't about mm-hmm. you. It's about their upbringing and what happened to them and how they le- led them to this point. Mm-hmm. You know, most bullies bully. Mm-hmm. It's happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got bullied a kid, so you're trying to bully me. I understand something, because most people can't see themselves. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you cause and then have to deal with yourself. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. most people don't want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to look inside yourself and yeah. so you walk away. Michael Jordan, LeBron James is a great basketball player. He trains in the offseason. If you want to be great, train in the offseason like him. Would you rather be a trend or you rather be Ralph Lauren? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, right. you rather be a trend or you rather be forever. I'm the person that looked at the Mona Lisa and be like, man, that's going to be cool in, a, in 40 years. Right. <laughs> right? I play forever. Right. I play forever. And, right. be, and so my whole thing is to identify with the truth, not to be the youngest, hottest, new, trendy thing. Repetition, you know, repetition. That, I mean, basketball players, that's why they practice every day. Still, they've been playing basketball their whole life, but they practice every day because, you know, repetition. The, the coolest thing about Jay-Z is that, A, he's not lazy. That rhymes. That's crazy. <laughs> no, he's not, he's not lazy. And um, I told him, if you want to know all these songs, studies say that if you repeat anything 18 times in a row, it will instantly get committed to memory. So first he was like, oh man, I'll just do it like six times or whatever. No, but then he would forget certain things. I said, look, dude, if you do it 18 times in a row, it will be straight. So we did a little schedule for like nine days before, four songs a day, you know, three hour rehearsal, take a break, three hour rehearsal, take a break, and then that's how he committed to memory. 